So we got a few properties to check out today, so we're going to swing past those properties and um, do a quick little walkthrough, see if we can send these guys a nice little offer on the property. Hopefully the property is something that we can uh, fix up, do something with, make some money, and um, go from there. Lay out some riding around with no seatbelt on, put the seatbelt on, got to be safe. So I had... Uh, I seen something on TV earlier today, and it kind of caught me by surprise. And basically, what the situation was is, um, it was a guy who was debating to, he was in the debate, I guess, uh, the past couple of days, and this guy wants to be president. So, that's not the part that caught me off guard. The part that caught me off guard was, he was saying that he wants to do things different from Donald Trump, and Donald Trump, of course, everybody knows that Donald Trump doesn't want to, that Donald Trump doesn't want open borders. So this guy, he's saying that he doesn't necessarily want open borders, but what he's saying is that he wants to get roughly to the point where we're letting 100,000 people in the country per month. I mean, okay, I don't really understand why you would do that, but he said that we're only bringing in about 30,000 a month. Now, I kind of came up with a solution after thinking about that idea, listening to that idea. The solution would be that we do hit those numbers that this guy said, but all of those people as they enter the country, those people want to work. So those people get to go to work. But what they need to do is they need to pay 50% of their income to U.S. taxes until they become a citizen. After you become a citizen, now you pay normal taxes. Consider the immigration tax that the immigrants have to pay. To me, that makes perfect sense. Now, the more people we bring in every year, the more money the country makes. But at the same time, these people become legal citizens. These people take advantage of the jobs and the opportunities that we have. How come nobody ever proposed that? Nobody. Nobody ever said anything about that. I first plan I thought of was when Obama did the stimulus plan. Now, I don't have nothing against Obama, but I have a problem with how they did the little stimulus and everybody got their little... 300 $600 checks. 
what they should have did was restrict the checks to only those who made less than $50,000 a year. Now, we just changed the amount of checks that are going out. Now, we changed, they already had a dollar amount that they were spending when they put out all those checks. Now we can take that dollar amount and spread it out amongst the people who actually got the checks or the people who actually make less than $40,000 a year. Those are the people who really need to pay their bills. Those are the ones who's going to catch their bills up. People who made $100,000, those people weren't worried about it. Those people already had money in the bank. All we did was add money to their bank account. But those people who making less than $40,000 a year, their bank account didn't have anything in it anyway. So why not add it to them? The ones who need it, the ones who are going to go pay their bills and catch their Sprint phone up and their Verizon bill and pay their cable bill. And we didn't do that. I have no idea why we didn't do that, but we didn't do that. Okay. I mean, I'm not a politician. I don't. Maybe maybe that's not how it works. But y'all can't tell me that that idea didn't sound a whole lot better. I think that idea was a whole lot better. That's just my opinion. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. But I know what I can say as far as immigration. I mean, people, there's people pro immigration, people against immigration. We're a country full of immigrants. So my thing is keep being a country full of immigrants. But one thing about the U.S., we need our money. So if we're a country full of immigrants and we need our money, then the immigrants should pay the country. Get paid. To me, that's easy. But whatever. So I'm finna make a stop right fast and then about to head back to this work we gotta do. Take a look at these properties. What's going on, y'all? Today we are checking in from a 12 unit building in Atlanta, Georgia, 30314. It is a burnout, so we're gonna have a stupid price on it, I'm assuming. But uh hey, let's take a look. Let's see what we got. The investor, any investor gonna to want to know which way, you know what I mean, you're gonna go with this building. Mm -hmm. So that he can know what to do with his how his money gonna be invested. Yeah, I agree. Do you work with a particular investor or what? Talking, talking. 